Ladies and gentlemen, Sides Drafe back with some more World of Tanks. And I find myself in the M10 Wolverine American Tank Destroyer once again. It's been a while since I've made a video with this guy, so why not? Let's see if we can get some kills under our belt today. I do have a lot of fun with this one. Uh, most people hate it, but I love it. It's a really good tank. High rate of fire. Uh, you know, paper thin armor, but it's not about the armor, it's about that gun with this one. So. We're tiered up pretty well, so we'll have to see how this goes. Finding a good spot in this map can be tricky. There are the obvious locations that you sometimes want to avoid, like where I'm at right now, because the artillery uh, will, in some cases, just fire blind because they know that somebody's hanging out here. So I just want to observe for a little bit until we can figure out where everyone's at on the map. Now, this is a King of the Hill match, so I think what we're going to want to do is provide Overwatch uh, closer to the point. Rolling on, as you can see, they are already capping, but sometimes the team that caps first is the one that loses because they put themselves in a vulnerable spot. So he's got some rock cover apparently. Alright, so they're hanging out on that mountain. M4 is rushing in. What do we got a Lee? We Wedding cake. One more. I love shooting at those things. Easiest target on the planet. I hate using that tank. I despise using that tank. It's torture. I want to say it's probably one of the worst tanks I've ever used in this game. Pen. I don't think it did any damage though. Ah! He just kind of backed out of that. Come on, peekaboo, one more time. That rock is problematic. What else we got? That's a guess shot. We've got this SU-85 in front of us, too. Kind of as a meat shield, just in case. You know, we really could use a spotter on that flag. And I'd rather it not be me because, let's face it, I cannot take any hits. Alright, um, at this point I'm gonna try to throw myself up behind this rock. See if I can get any different types of angles. it appears we're having some trouble over here and actually I'm gonna be the only thing in the way of these guys coming into the base for a flank Houston we have a problem all right not sure what that was they don't have artillery uh, but looks like it wasn't too bad There goes that M10. Some Wolverine on Wolverine action there. He was the one probably spitting at us. All right, these guys are kind of bunched up. We've got an M36 moving around on that side, but there's still three of them, so it's not really a good engagement. Uh, once they get softened up a little bit, maybe. And there's it, KV. Hanging out back there. Use this machine gun cannon on him. There we go. 3-4. He's down to 6%. 
All right. He gets finished off by an SU-26. They're getting absolutely decimated now. Uh, we want to watch our right flank here, though. There's another one down. All right, back up a little bit. And let's rely on the camo net to conceal our position. As you can see, shot in there. They were trying to get us. Uh, we should be safe because, once again, there is no artillery. All right, so that is that. Once that camo net icon gets illuminated, you can pretty much consider yourself safe. At least, I believe so. Everybody's going in for the cap, but honestly, we don't really need to worry about that. Our job is to just, again, maintain Overwatch and take out targets from a distance. People that should capture, of course, those that have better armor and hit points. We've got uh, a couple targets left that could pose a threat, but I just don't have any eyes. Uh, maybe uh, it looks like we just don't have such a good shot on them. Plus, it's orange, so. Yeah, not happening from here. Bad shot on my part. Hit no damage. Looks like we should get this on the capture. Uh, there are other targets appear to be on our 6 o'clock, or... Well, not real 6, but... Let them have it. Anyone else? Let's get into a better position so we can gun up. Let him have it. As you can see, once again, M10 Wolverine proving that it is a lot better than most people think. Uh, not bad at all. And I haven't played this thing in a while. So, as you can see there, uh, four tanks down, some damage. You know, not bad. Uh, a lot of, I always laugh because a lot of people that reviewed this tank, I watched so many, you know, World of Tanks videos. Everybody. I couldn't find one person that said anything good about this thing, other than the fact that it had a good rate of fire. Everybody complained about the armor. It's like you're complaining about the armor for something that's a sniper. It's not supposed to, I mean, it's not going to have armor. It's got an awesome, fast-firing gun, and, you know, I really can't uh, say much more about it. It's a great tank. In the right hands, most every tank it can be phenomenal. There's something about each tank that will excel, but... You know, I, I there's one tank that I can say that I, I absolutely hated and despised, and it was the M3 Lee. And uh, I'll never say anything good about this thing, unless maybe I've heard that one day they will activate uh, the second turret, which means that you could, in theory, fire two different shots, because right now you can only fire the fixed turret. And it's just a horrible, ugly, bad silhouette tank that plays like a tank destroyer. It's just ugh, the most painful thing I've ever played in my life. But, uh, you know, otherwise, again, M10, highly recommend this tank, and I'm keeping it forever. It's such a good one. But, uh, you know, moving right along, I've gotten some requests to show off the M24 Chaffee. I don't use this guy a lot. It is a Tier 5 light, and it's going to lose money if, uh, you know, if you don't win. Uh, anything Tier 5, of course, anything final tier or near final tier will always you know, lose money unless you get a win. So same thing here. It's hard to grind to this thing. It's pretty fast. Turns on a dime. Great uh, acceleration and mobility. But uh, the one thing that I despise about it is the upgraded turret is disgusting. It's ugly. It's hideous. I hate it. In fact, this turret never existed on the M24 Chaffee in real life. Not that this game is realistic, but Please, Wargaming.net, get rid of it. It's it's useless. It's junk. It's hideous. I, I mean, are you having a go at us? Because it's it's just a bag of silly. I don't like it. 
But you need it to get the next gun, which I can't even research yet. I don't have the points. And this gun's not bad. So unfortunately, you have to get this turret. I would just be happy if they left us in this turret, the real Chaffee turret, and put the bigger gun on it. Uh, for a while, there were some people that were patching the files uh, in the World of Tanks folder to enable you to have the looks of this turret, but the upgraded gun. You know, the downside is that you're the only one that can see it. To everybody else, you're still in the ugly turret, but... Uh, you know, it would at least uh, uh, be good for you while you're playing. Again, if you look at the stats, you lose one degree of traverse, and then you gain 400 uh, view range versus 370, which, honestly, I don't feel like. And the armor, it looks like it's the same. Uh, let's see if it adds. Hit, let's see, so we have 580 hit points. And then 530. So you get some more hit points with the new turret as well. But honestly, I think they should just slightly modify the, the looks of this turret. Maybe add something different to it. And just be that. Uh, because this looks fine like this, you know. But um, I'm going to go into a battle. I'm not going to use the new turret because it's pointless without the other gun, I think. Well, I mean, it's going to give me some extra hit points. But just for the sake of this video, we're just going to go in uh, bare, I think. I've got the upgraded suspension, and then I've got the upgraded engine as well. Uh, so we'll do that for now, and then maybe we'll do one uh, once we get the uh, upgraded gun. I'll throw on the new turret and things like that. You know, the, the hit points, you know, you might be thinking I'm crazy for not going in with it, but... Uh, honestly, the way I'm going to play this is hopefully not really a, f a front line or suicide scout. Uh, that's usually the wrong way. What I want to do is just kind of uh, flank around, try to spot targets. Uh, it'd be nice if we could go kill that artillery piece, even though this map is horrible for artillery anyway. So it's not going to be a huge deal. This is King of the Hill, though. So we'll see how this goes. I don't really remember doing too much of this mode in this map. But another nice thing with the light tanks is they're they're probably going to be the most fun to drive when the uh, patch on the physics patch comes out. We're going downhill now, so this thing's pretty much going to fly, but we don't want to run into that guy cuz I really don't trust other drivers. And you don't want to get tunnel visioned in a light tank. You don't want to think, oh, I'm fast. I just want to go fast all the time. It's kind of tricky because you feel the speed that you have. And it and it makes you want to, you know, use it tw you know, all the time. But you almost have to just think about stop and go tactics. You know, take some time to think about where's the best location for you to be an early warning system. And there's a target that I've, of course, missed. Uh, but again, it's not necessarily my job to do any type of major damage and destruction. Um, I'm primarily here for scouting purposes. Although, since I am tiered up pretty well in this game, I can go ahead and fire and maybe uh, get some damage in. If I was on the bottom, then I would pretty much consider it to be pointless. We've got some targets up top. All right, so we're going to come around here for a little bit of flanking. We've got Tank Destroyer in the house to help us out a little bit. I don't even think I can grab a cupola there. Wow, that missed. And so did that. Ow. Now, I'm kind of curious as to where that actually came from, because it looks like I got hit on the left. But as you can see how this thing turns, it's phenomenal. Really mobile. You can turn the turret slowly now. I could repair my turret, but honestly, with uh, 
With what this tank is designed to do and the rotation of the tracks, I'm not going to worry about it and save the repair kit for something a little bit more important. Um, at this particular point in time, we want to be kind of careful because we're actually closer to their base. I'm thinking about heading back around the long way. And just trying to bypass some of these guys. Really, the uh, purpose of showing you this tank more so is to, to see its mobility and, and speed and whatnot. The t crew's not 100% yet, but uh, it's pretty close, I think. Because, and let's face it, the light tanks, you know, once you get the upgraded, the 76mm gun, uh, it will help with uh, some flanking maneuvers and harassment. Uh, it looks like they've got the advantage on the flag. But I'm gonna go in here and see what we've got. Looks like they're behind cover. Their grill is still up. Oh, there he is. He's out. Oh, I could have had a shot on him. Oh, well, he's toast. Don't really have a line of sight on that guy. Watch out for that IS. All right, this game could go either way at this point in time. If anything, we'll want to make sure that the IS stays lit. I'm going to switch to HE for a little bit of harassment. Again, just a constant reminder to those of you who really don't understand the nature of, of light tanks or uh, are perhaps new to the game. Uh, you're not here to fight. You're here to observe, keep targets lit. For the big boys uh, and at most you know maybe provide some flanking harassment uh, which again kind of sizing up those targets not a huge fan of them uh, there's not a whole lot that I could do I mean I could come around maybe throw a couple of shots into their sides um, we've got a kv1 behind us here she's pulling back So what I'm going to actually do is kind of run some distraction, maybe. Nope. All right. Not not happening. Okay. But since we are winning this game, I am going to try to have some fun here. So can I go through here? How are we doing? What do we got? IS. You know, every little bit of damage that you can get in may help. Let's see, hopefully this guy's not looking at me. Hey buddy, what's up? Oh crap. <laughs> see, but the thing is, now he's turning his gun to look at me, which is a fatal mistake. That's just gonna let somebody who, who knows how to fight, or can, Come in and see. He's still looking. He's looking the wrong way. He's looking over here. And in my opinion, this is what it's about. Now, is he still looking at me? He is, isn't he? But see, now he's going to be shooting at the KV-3. His shot is fired. And then we can try to use our speed and mobility to just come around him again. And have a little bit of fun. Although I can't really see him. Oh, they got him. But once you get the upgraded 76, that's a lot more fun. Higher rate of fire, I think, and some more penetration. So that's that's the way to really do it. Um, you know, here, again, I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, you know, you kind of want to focus on uh, just keeping them spotted. A lot of people try to get detected points, which is why you hear the phrase, you know, suicide scout, because people just want to go in 
find the targets in the beginning of the game and get points for first detection. But that's not necessarily how you want to play these vehicles because in my opinion, uh, that's just going to net you some insta-death. But, uh, you know, with that said, let's see, what haven't we done in a while? Super Pershing we've done plenty of. I haven't played with my T-34 in a while, and I don't think I've ever... I don't even know if I've ever played a, uh, or done a video with this T-14. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it just for the sake of having something new. Not exactly a premium tank I would recommend. Uh, not my favorite. In fact, if you ever have the choice of purchasing a T-14 or a Churchill, definitely make sure it's the Churchill. Uh, I bought this because um, it does actually take a decent amount of damage. It's kind of like a brawler tank. It's good at close quarters. has some nice sloping on the, the front. And, uh, you know, it can pretty much take a beating at its tier. At least it used to. I don't know if they've changed anything because it's been a while since I've played it. But I don't really have all the upgrades on it. Well, I mean, it's premium. I don't have all the... Uh, I don't have any extra equipment on it except for like a gun rammer, I think. But uh, see, so this is a standard battle on one of the newer maps. So it is, of course, slow. I don't think it's as it's not as slow as the Churchill. Uh, the gun is a, maybe a touch more potent, but it's obviously slower. So let's see. I know most people like to fight over that hill up there, but I think I'm going to use this tank uh, up close. In general, like, if you have, you know, some free currency and you want to buy a premium, I really have a tough time recommending this one unless it's on sale and you just want to collect it. It's not amazing. Like I said, I would always take the Churchill over it. Which is probably why I haven't played it in such a long time. I bought this actually when it was discounted, so it wasn't a huge loss or anything. But Again, it's really good at just punching a hole through uh, their defenses. Not exactly the highest tier tank here, but... Oh, that went over. I should have aimed closer to the front. And he's gone. Oh, do we have another wedding cake to shoot at? We do. As you can see, we were able to absorb one shot. Want to keep the angles towards the enemy. Yeah, we're taking some hits. The armor's holding. See if we can get through some of these houses. I don't think I can go through that one. Oh, they're trying to light us up now for some reason. Managed to grab some attention. Uh, they do have one piece of artillery, a grill. M36 in the distance. KV is down. Uh, we got to watch our left. this out of the way so I can get a shot. But he's going to continue to move, so that was pointless. Alright, so they've got a Leo hanging out in the background. This game is still early, so... Alright, KV-1S is down. This tank is all about its armor. For the most part, the gun is pretty mediocre, and it's uh, a short barrel, so it's very inaccurate at range. Uh, it literally is a close-quarter tank. Uh, the only thing that uh, it has going for it is maybe the... I mean, the rate of fire is okay. I'm going to push up just a little bit. Ow, that, that didn't feel good. What was that? Hetzer? 
Oh, why don't I have a repair kit? Houston, we really have a problem. And I can't see any of these targets. Uh, that goes to show you how long it's been since I've played with this tank. As I've neglected to put a repair kit on it. Amongst other things. It is premium though, so you don't really have to worry about a huge income loss. Um, I'm actually going to come about the other side here. Our tracks are hit. We're pretty much as damaged as we can be. Although we are winning, but personally, I'm not doing so hot. So, Panzer IV, let's see if we can... T-34. Hanging on by a thread, but... Shot's just not doing it. I've always had issues with the accuracy on this one. Even though I am kind of... My shots might not be that great. Wow, we've got way too many up front. And I think that is the end of that. Dang it. Yeah, that was just a bad game. I don't think I necessarily did good at all in that one. So I'm not familiar with this map. This is probably the third or fourth time I've played it. So I'm not really going to place the blame on the tank that one. But it, again, it's not my favorite. I hate I hate how inaccurate the gun is. Uh, it's pretty much a charge in and brawl. So we should win this game though. There's no reason not to, obviously. Yep, they're just finishing him off. If anything, I probably should have. I'm gonna have to learn this map a little bit more. I probably should have maybe doubled back. And perhaps come around where these guys are going. Work my way around the flag point. And come up on their six. Because, you know, there were quite a few bounced shots there. Uh, the armor was doing its job for the tier that we were in, I would say. And... I really can't wait for the physics patch to, to go live because being able to go down these mountains and hills uh, will be a lot of fun. Although you can pretty easily break your track. I've been on the test server and it's, it's fun, but it's, uh, it's a little finicky. There's some cases where it's too sensitive. We're going down a little hill will result in a you know destroyed track and whatnot. But you know, as you can see, we, we got killed there. It's uh, daily double, but... Uh, credits not going to be an issue on a premium tank in regards to even a loss where I haven't uh, managed to do a whole lot. And I did nothing there except for a couple of damages. Oh well, two out of three ain't bad. But, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next one.